If you're still using switch case statements and you watch this video to the end, I hope you change your mind and stop using them. So you can see here that we have a switch case statement that is going to get the day number, and then we're going to declare day, and then we're going to run through a list of days, and we're going to reassign day, and finally we're going to return the day. So if we run this code here, node1.js, we get Monday because the day is the first day of the week. So how can we refactor this to make it a little bit nicer? So a popular way to refactor switch case statements is to use an object. So let's define const days equals, and we're going to create a new object. And I'm going to say the zeroth day is Sunday, the first day is Monday, second is Tuesday, third is Wednesday, fourth is Tuesday, and so on. So now that we have the day number, we can simply return days and put the day number in as the item that we want to pick out of the object. So let's remove all of this code here. And you can see that we've already dramatically reduced our switch case statement. Let's run this again and we get Monday. But what happens if we want to add a default property here? So we can say this is equal to eight or new date. And you can see that we get undefined. So let's simply say days, day number, or let's return WTF. And you can see we get WTF. So this can still be a little bit messy. Let's abstract the switch case logic out into a function. And so we can reuse it over and over again. So I'm going to say const switch case is equal to, and this is going to take an object and so the object that it's going to take is going to be these days. And it's going to take a default value. And we're just going to default that to default. So this is going to be a curried function. So we can say equal to a curried function. And the second property that's going to take is value. And then we just want to return object. We want to pick out the value or we want to return our default value. So how would you use this switch case function? Let's declare our days again. And we need to make a function from switch case. So let's say const get day equals switch case, and we can pass in our days. Now we just need to call get day. And we can call it with all of our arguments. So let's run node3.js. And you can see here that it prints out all the days of the week. So this is a fantastic alternative to switch case. It's much neater and much easier to read. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.